Detective Emmanuel Ritter and his wife Marina have a baby boy. Since he's an on-call officer, he can't spend as much time with his child as he'd like. When he leaves for work, he hands the baby over to a nurse, who puts him in a nursery with other babies. When the shift changes, another nurse takes over, and when she's alone in the nursery, she locks the door and pulls out a gun. Emmanuel starts crying, and soon after, his wife dies of depression. It's been five years, but Emmanuel still hasn't gotten over the loss of his wife and son. However, he is still doing his job as a police officer. Right now, he is in charge of a shooting case at an elementary school with his longtime partner Demetrio. A ninth grader fired 28 rounds of bullets, and most of the victims are kindergartners. His mother has been called to identify the boy's body so that the police can question him further. They think the boy is high on drugs. Emmanuel asks the boy's mother to help with the investigation and give them her house key so they can search the boy's room. Later, the autopsy shows that the boy was completely sober but the police find some satanic drawings in his room. Next, Issa was supposed to go to school that day, but couldn't because he had a high fever. He tells his mother Beatrice that he had a dream in which a demon came for him and his cousin Jonathan. Beatrice tells him it was just a dream and takes him to his room. Later, she calls her sister Elena to ask about Jonathan. Unfortunately, Jonathan wasn't lucky enough to avoid the misfortune and was killed in the shooting earlier that day. Elena goes to the police station to talk to Emmanuel about the shooting. She tells him that a man told her a few days ago that something bad would happen to Jonathan and Issa and that he is the one who did it. Ivan's major was EVP, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. In EVP, sounds found on electronic recordings are thought to be voices from the dead. They didn't plan to stay long at first, but while they were investigating, they found strange marks on the walls and ceiling of the kindergarten room. They realized that there might be something paranormal going on, so they decided to stay a little longer. Ivan gave the order to set up the EVP station and other recording equipment right away. The next day, Issa didn't make it to swimming class, and another terrible thing happened in the other room. Emmanuel thinks it has something to do with the school shooting case and tries to find more clues. He tells Demetrio to make a list of the parents of the children. After Demetrio leaves, Emmanuel removes the cloth from the janitor's face but he is startled by the sudden movement in her dead eye. Meanwhile, Ivan comes to meet Emmanuel and tell him about the school case, but Emmanuel ignores him. Ivan shows him pictures of strange marks they found on the walls and seals, which they think are the fingerprints of some kind of creature. At first, Emmanuel thinks this is crazy, but when Ivan tells him that they found the same mark in the hospital where his son died a few years ago, he starts to think. He then realizes that he might be the key to this whole thing. After this, Emmanuel gets angry and grabs the other man by the collar. Just then, Demetrio steps in and tells them they've found a woman who says she knows the man in the sketch. Ivan sneaks a look at the sketch and tells them that the man is Vasilio Kennedy, a former priest who was kicked out of the church for doing satanic rituals. He says that Kennedy is connected to several cases. Ivan tells them that Vasilio was seen in the nursery three days after the hospital incident. He was also seen walking around the school on the day of the shooting. Only after this does Emmanuel pay attention to Ivan. Ivan then brings Emmanuel and Demetrio to the kindergarten and shows them the handprints under UV lights. He also gives them the sound file they recorded, which is the sound of children screaming after hearing the sound. Leonor tells them it's a risky move, but she still asks Emmanuel to look at the cards. He picks out some cards, and they all turn out to be demons. She freaks out and says that one of them is going to die for sure. At that moment, Leonor's daughter starts screaming. They rush upstairs and see things floating in the air while the little girl is scared out of her mind. Leonor yells at the men to leave the house right away, and she finally tells Emmanuel to make peace with God. That night, Emmanuel sleeps with a cross and a gun under his pillow. The next day, Beatrice brings Issa to the theater, but Celio kidnaps them before they can enter the hall. A few minutes later, a middle-aged man blows himself up inside the theater, killing a lot of people. While the search party is still looking, Demi Emmanuel wakes up and finds himself chained. He can't believe he tried to kill out the night before, but he's glad to hear from Basilio that Ivan is still alive and doing well. As Basilio tells the story of the reincarnation of the Christ, he says that the first two reincarnations were controlled by the demon, which led to the deaths of thousands of people. Now, they're standing in front of Beatrice and Esau, who are on the when Emmanuel heard this, he promised to protect Esau no matter what. Now. The plan is to take the boy across the border to a monastery that has protections against evil. Emmanuel asks Demetrio for help to move them through the tunnel. Ivan, Beatrice, Issa, and a few other subordinates go into the tunnel that will lead them to the other side. Along the way, they find multiple paths, some of which are meant to confuse the uninvited guests. Soon, they come to a cavern full of statues, skulls, and other objects. 
Vasilia warns them not to touch anything and urges them to leave as soon as possible. However, Emmanuel acts strangely and asks Vasilio about the Emmanuel comes out of nowhere and attacks the subordinate with an axe. He then takes down Ivan and tasers Vasilio before going after Esa and Beatrice. At this point, only Isa can see that Emmanuel is really possessed by a demon. The mother and son fall to the ground and start running, but the gunfire stops them. Beatrice's screams lead Demetrio to their location where he finds Beatrice and ISS Emmanuel hears the voices of the demon and his wife in his head. Then, he pretends to be confused and reaches out to hug his longtime friend Demetrio, but instead of giving him a hug, he shoots him in the stomach. Emmanuel Issa from Beatrice's arms, and a voice in his head tells him to gouge out the baby's eyes to save her baby. Beatrice attacks him with a stone, but Ivan stops her before she can hit him in the head again. They take Issa back to the tunnel, where Vasilio tells them to lock Issa up and perform a dark ritual to save the child. He also warns them not to stop praying, no matter what happens. Then they, Issa is unharmed except for a small cut on his hand. Now that everything is over, they are getting ready to bring down the tunnel and bury the demon in the desert. After this, Ivan goes to the house of the Holy Father to tell the fathers about the coming of the new messiah when they ask him about Emmanuel. Ivan says with pride that since Emmanuel got rid of such a strong demon, he can't be hurt by any evil anymore, so only Emmanuel is strong enough to be the boy's guardian. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this one. Thank you for seeing.